Today we have the latest on COVID-19 positive cases. The numbers climb back up to pre-vaccination levels. And local coffee shops are raising awareness for homelessness. Those details right now. Charlie Wilson's Appliances, TVs, and Mattresses has what you need. We've got over $2 million of inventory in stock and ready to go. Charlie has the brands you love and the service that keeps you coming back. Your dollar goes farther at Charlie Wilson's in Clarksville. Thank you for joining us right now. I'm Corey McCauley. In your top headline sponsored by Clark Memorial Health. The latest number of positive COVID-19 cases is up to more than 1,700. That's the highest the state has seen since the end of January. Clark County has 59 new cases, while in Floyd County they have 33. Health officials say those in the 25 to 35 age range is where vaccination rates are the lowest. They add the Delta strain of COVID presents different symptoms than what hospitals saw in early 2020 and it's presenting like a sinus infection. And so I'm worried that people are not going to realize they have it and then expose people that are in a high risk population to it um, unintentionally. As the numbers spike, mask policies are changing daily. We will continue to bring you the latest information on mask policies and COVID numbers. For students returning back to school at Silver Creek Elementary, there's a new level of security. This year, the elementary school has a full-time school resource officer from the Clark County Sheriff's Office. It's the first time the elementary school is getting a resource officer dedicated to serve only the elementary school. Officer Tim Tillett has already started making friends with the students and getting to know teachers and staff. It's an extra added layer of security, number one, right? And, and he's here to keep us safe, protect us. He also is uh, going around and monitoring our doors, making sure everything's locked and that, you know, everything's exactly the way it should be. In your business news, sponsored by First Harrison Bank, Mathis Pharmacy is celebrating the hard work of the participants who completed the Prevent T2 program. We first told you about the program in July of last year. Mathis Pharmacy was one of 15 pharmacies in the country to receive a grant for the Prevent T2 program, which is a year-long program that provides support to people making lifestyle changes to prevent a diagnosis of type 2 diabetes. Officials say over the past year, participants went through 26 classes and they had 17 people complete the program. One of the greatest things that healthcare has kind of taken a turn in doing is focusing more on prevention of disease instead of treatment of it. And that's really what this program is all about. If we implement healthy lifestyle changes, eating well, exercising, we can prevent chronic diseases like type 2 diabetes, hypertension, high cholesterol. In your sports news brought to you by Calls Body Shop, the Silver Creek football team is coming off the best season in program history. In 2020, the Dragons went undefeated in the regular season, recording their first ever win over Brownstown Central and capturing their first Mid-Southern Conference title along the way. Silver Creek season ended with a first round loss at East Central in the sectional. The Dragons graduated several key players from that squad. However, expectations remain high in Sellersburg. I'm actually really excited that we, uh, first game August 20th, really hyped for that. I know everybody else is one of our biggest, or at least most high energy games of the year. I mean, everybody's hopes to win state, but I mean, you got to work for it, honestly. I mean, every team in Indiana is uh, hoping to win state in their uh, uh, district right now, but I mean, uh, not everybody can do it. Only six teams in Indiana can do it, and uh, we're working our hardest to try to be the one of the six. In your lifestyle news, sponsored by Huber's Orchard and Winery, your coffee purchase at several southern Indiana coffee shops will go towards raising awareness on the issue of homelessness. For the month of August, those who visit the participating coffee shops will receive a branded coffee cup for the No Homelessness Initiative. The cup is aimed to be a conversation starter to help educate the community about homelessness in southern Indiana and Louisville. The Southern Indiana Coffee Shops participating are Coffee Crossing, Kent Java Bar, and Pearl Street Game and Coffee House. 
In addition, there are 27 billboards up around Louisville and southern Indiana that have stats and information on homelessness. You know, what we say is just like listen, learn, and share. Listen to um, the information, the stories of real people experiencing, experiencing homelessness. You know, share those stories um, with uh, folks, your friends and family, uh, and learn. Do everything you can to learn. Uh, the, the, the real story behind some of the myths and misconceptions uh, that people may have. In your weather forecast sponsored by Langford Funeral Home. Today we have sunny skies with some slight winds and a high of 87. For your Friday expect mostly cloudy skies, slightly warmer with a high of 88. Into your weekend, on Saturday, we will see sunny skies return with a high of 90 degrees. And on Sunday, the sun sticks around and temperatures climb higher with a high of 93. And that's what's happening right now for Thursday, August 5th. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.